March 1, 1954. Bravo was detonated on the reef off Nam Island in the northwest corner of the atoll. It created a fireball nearly four miles wide, leaving a gaping hole in the ocean floor, one mile wide and 200 feet deep. Hey, Ma, tell Bobby not to make any noise when he closes the door. Bobby, okay. don't make it too much noise. Uh, Mr. Lewis Strauss indicated uh, uh, shortly after the blast that uh, there was a sudden shift in, in the winds in the easterly direction. But I don't, I don't really believe that. Uh, it's, it's my firm belief that the wind was already blowing in the easterly direction and uh, that they intended to use Marshallese, na uh, Marshallese natives as guinea pigs because you have a controlled environment. Okay. You're going to have people that's going to live there for the rest of their life. And that way, they would be able to evaluate the short-term the, and the long-term effects of radiation. In World War II, the United States captured the Marshall Islands in one of the bloodiest Pacific campaigns. The U.S., under the consent of the UN, gained trusteeship over the islands, which remained in effect until 1986. Under U.S. rule, the Marshall Islands became part of the Pacific Proving Ground, a nuclear weapons test site. Another left a mile-wide crater in the ocean floor, still visible today. Military initiatives at Bikini Atoll and other islands that composed the Pacific Proving Ground contributed to the tension that led to the Cold War.